Hey lovely ladies, you are now watching Candy Loves You. Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, crazy kids. I'm so excited because today I have been officially transitioning for one year. I don't want to talk too much because of course you all want to see the whole slideshow of my progress and everything. But I just want to take the time to thank everyone so much for all the views and all the people that have subscribed to me and continuously comment me, message me. My last relaxer was May 18th, 2009. The summer of 2009, I tried something new and decided to crimp my hair for the majority of the summer. This was way before I started my no heat policy. This was the first protective style I ever tried. It was my first Bantu knot out. September 14th, 2009, this was one of my many braid outs. This was how long my hair was on October 7th, 2009. Since I stopped using keto my hair, it had grown a lot. And this was only five months into my transition. It grew from shoulder length to bra strap length. This is a picture of my new growth around that time. And as you can see, tight curls were already starting to form. And this is how it looked in a ponytail. October 14, 2009. This was probably the prettiest my bed to not out has ever been. I loved it so much. October 22, 2009. This is a braided band to not out. October 28, 2009. I decided to flat iron my hair again just to switch it up a little bit. And as you can see, it's a lot more full than it was when I first started transitioning on May 18th. November 11th, 2009, a Bantu knot out. November 21st, 2009, a wild braid out. November 29th, 2009, this is my first roller set. I actually had... Six people tell me I looked like Shirley Temple that day. <laughs> December 1st, another roller set. This is the first day I wore it. And this is the second day that I wore it. December 3rd, 2009. This is a curly braid out. And this is probably my favorite transitioning care style. December 22nd, 2009, I decided to do another new growth check. At this point, my new growth was curly all around my hair, not just in the top, in the middle, and it was really, really curly. Here's December 27th, 2009. This is a braid out. This is January 3rd, 2010, before I wet my hair. And here's after I wet my hair. And you can see that my hair has grown a lot. January 12, 2010, I scratched my hair for the first time. And a few days later, I did it again. February 5th, 2010. February 8th, 2010. February 12th, 2010, and February 18th, 2010. As you can see, during this time period, I did a lot of experimenting with my hair. Here's a picture of my new growth on that same day. Here's my hair in my bun. This is actually a slightly wet braid out. And here's another one. This was the first roller set that I had done in a while. And as you can see, my hair was a lot thicker than when I did it before. Another wet braid out. In this video, my new growth was about four inches long, I'm thinking. Maybe three and a half. 
Here's another curly braid out. And this one is a wet curly braid out. And these are just a few pictures of the more recent ones that I've done. Here it is at the end of April. And here it is in a ponytail. And here I am today, one year in, and I'm so proud of myself. This truly has been a journey, and though it's been difficult for me, I don't regret my decision to go natural at all. I'm so proud of myself. I feel more confident, happy, and beautiful than I've ever felt before. Kenny loves you.